Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you on this new day of this new week. It is Monday, September 11, and it is the anniversary of an unpleasant time <clears throat> almost 15 years ago. It's amazing how time flies. But on this new day, we bring more love and more light. So I thank you all for joining me today. Today's subject most likely will gather some attention. It is called the What is Soul Intelligence? Now I was reading uh, in my teacher's book, Master Shaw is my teacher. Uh, it's called the book is called Soul Power on this subject matter, uh, so that I speak in his words because. Uh, they are very wise words and so I hope that, that wisdom will serve you well today <clears throat> soul intelligence has quite a few layers and uh, there truly is no ending to the amount of soul intelligence we can have because when we are fully intellectualized with soul wisdom and fully connected to it um, then we are of course fully enlightened so that is just a tidbit of what you can expect for all those that are just tooling through wondering what this live stream is about I encourage you to remain also if you don't have the time uh, to remain and watch this entire one hour live stream then I encourage you to hit subscribe and uh, like me on my Facebook page you can always come back and watch in the future <coughs> this uh, last week was very very strong energetically <coughs> a lot of um, shifts happening in Mother Earth a uh, lot of natural disasters that are being brought to the forefront and being a light being shined upon them and they're certainly not limited to the US <clears throat> that's where I'm from and so I see almost all the news is focused on on the US which really is kind of sad um, you know we have an entire countries that are uh, famine uh, and literally starving um, and countries that should be very well managed like Argentina that uh, people are can't even find health care uh, and people are stealing from everybody else and so there's great um, tragedy and conditions all over the earth and the calling is to come together in love and peace and harmony but not enough people are waking up to that and from the wisdom and teachings that I come from that's part and parcel of why even these natural disasters occur <clears throat> so soul intelligence ties in because if you have opened your soul intelligence in your spiritual channels you can actually hear messages very clear messages from the soul world as to why humanity has so much suffering why humanity is having so many natural disasters and calamities at this time it's not um, nothing is accidental everything is tied in to the collectiveness and so um, we can collectively make a difference on the positive side we can collectively bring love and peace and harmony and it doesn't take a lot to accomplish it it just takes one collective mind <clears throat> and that's just an example of some of the things that soul intelligence brings so we'll have a lot to cover today off to a little bit of a slow start today in terms of the number of people that are joining so let me welcome those who have joined us so far <clears throat> welcome to Rodriguez love welcome also to Michael Wilmeth welcome Raina Smiley and welcome also to Richie Souder Aloha Tony Seymour and Aloha Dvorka Aloha welcome to Karen Hogan and welcome Tiffany Ann Aloha also to Kristen Rojas and Candy Cornett Aloha Karia Kadle and welcome to everybody <clears throat> welcome Dakota Aloha Angie, welcome also Nelson, and welcome Heather Houston. Aloha CJ, welcome to Linda, and welcome Diane Marquez. Also welcome to Vanessa, thank you all for joining today. Welcome Angeli Flauta, welcome Julie, Julia Lawrence, also welcome to Lisa Zarniak and Susan Birchmore, aloha. And welcome M.A. Drade. Welcome also to Kristen Strachan. <clears throat> if I missed anybody, please forgive me. So thank you all for joining today. 
I hope your weekend was uh, valuable, eventful, full of good, full of light, full of love. We always want our, uh, our weekend, <clears throat> even if we work on the weekends, we still want them to be somewhat enjoyable. It's one of the things I appreciate about Hawaii uh, is that when you drive around in the weekends here, everybody is truly enjoying their weekend. The families break out the tents and the big canopies and you know the families here are quite large so anywhere between 10 and 20 people show up and everybody brings food so they're just hanging out in the ocean eating and playing in the water and playing the music sitting around playing the ukulele they really enjoy their weekends here <clears throat> so welcome also to uh, Daniel Hansen so while we allow uh, Facebook to go out and gather some more souls let's go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul welcome also to Sylvia we're going to start by placing our hands in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand gently remained pointed towards heaven. And as we connect heart to heart and soul to soul, we will invite in all the beings of light. So let us fully connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, all Masters and Ascended Masters, Spiritual Mothers and Fathers, Lamas, Sir, uh, Sifus, Gurus and Saints, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Beloved Jesus, Beloved Mother Mary. There are individual Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels and Saints. We love you all, honor you all, deeply respect you. We ask for your presence at this time. We ask you to please come to sit in each of our heart centers to more fully develop our awakening Bless us to awaken to our soul and our soul intelligence. We're very grateful for this opportunity to receive your guidance, your wisdom, and your insights. <clears throat> we ask that you please borrow my mouth. Allow me to serve in the highest and best way. We invite the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on. And we invite all souls in all universes to please join us enchanting love peace and harmony to offer your unconditional service for all that are new watching or listening for the very first time this is a mantra love peace and harmony song it is also uh, translated into 43 languages it is a song that when sung brings love and peace and harmony it is not an earth-based song it carries exceedingly high frequency and if you'd like to know more about it just follow the links that Kristen Rojas posts on her timeline Kristen uh, Rojas is uh, is a very dedicated universal servant and helps me a lot so thank you Kristen <clears throat> so again for all those that are new this is a blessing you can make a request to heaven and the blessing begins Lula 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 Woi Washin Harling Woi Tran Ran Lay Wang Ling Rung Her Musher Shang Song I ping on a say, Song I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you we uh, at, at our center here in honolulu <clears throat> we chant this song uh, for an hour or two every tuesday night to offer unconditional service to humanity we also chant in Tagalog, we chant in, in uh, Japanese, we chant in the Hawaiian language, sometimes we chant German, sometimes Dutch. <clears throat> it's 38 languages, 
43 languages, excuse me. So, um, uh, we, you know, we do our best to chant different languages each time to serve humanity. So if this registers with you, if you enjoy it, if it connects to you, I invite you to come to Master Shah's Tao Healing Center on Tuesday nights via webcast and join in, in, the, in the opportunity to receive huge virtue. So we've seen, I see some folks popping in here. I want to acknowledge them. So welcome to Kathy Arnold. Welcome Maria Joy. Thank you for your love. <clears throat> welcome also to Vanessa. Welcome to Jess Christensen. Aloha Daniel Hansen. Welcome Andrea Aiden, and thank you all for sharing. <clears throat> uh, welcome Christy Vigil. Somebody asked what time is that EST when we do this? It starts at 6 and goes to starts at 6.30 and goes to 8.30, so add six hours. Um, welcome Diana Marie. <clears throat> welcome Laura Shelton. And also aloha to uh, Linda Jensen. Welcome Rawita. Welcome, welcome Sahari. And welcome Melissa Ford. Aloha Brenda Hudson. Welcome also Kathy Schneider. And welcome to... Um, Anne-Marie Grant, and if any other souls I missed, please forgive me. Thank you again for coming. Thank you for sharing, <coughs> excuse me, and letting other people know about today's live stream. So as you are aware, today is on a subject matter called soul intelligence. Yesterday, the weekend actually, I was on a retreat. Uh, I offer teachings, but I also listen to the teachings. Uh, and so I was listening to Master Jimena who is one of the key leaders at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in San Francisco. And it was on the Pure Land, which has relationship to uh, Namo Amitofo and Kuan Yin and Dasha Jirapusa. Respectively, Namo Amitofo is the number one Buddha that everyone sees the statues of. Uh, Kuan Yin is this beautiful soul behind me here, which is the Buddha of Compassion. And Dasha Jirapusa, who is not pictured at the moment, is the Buddha of Intelligence. And so this is not a Buddhist teaching, a religious teaching, nothing like that. It just so happens that we honor all belief systems and where uh, that particular workshop was honoring uh, that wisdom and those blessings. <clears throat> and so um, there was wisdom and teachings on soul and mind and heart intelligence. I was very blessed to receive a very huge blessing for mind intelligence from the uh, Da Shudra Pusa lineage. And um, so to receive uh, a crown chakra blessing from a lineage holder uh, that high up is extreme, extremely, extremely, extremely big. To receive one for mind intelligence is massive. Uh, I can tell you I had lots and lots of mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, lots of things removed, um, soul journey saving, probably saved my life. Um, there's a lot of blessings that come with a, with a cleansing, if you will, that big. And so I, I was actually receiving wisdom this morning while I was doing some meditation and doing some calligraphy dawn tracing. I was receiving uh, very clear uh, intelligence insights, soul intelligence insights. And I was a bit astounded by it actually because I wasn't asking for any information. I was just doing my homework, the, tracing the calligraphies to clear my blockages. And I was just, information was coming in. And so that's why I'm talking about soul intelligence today as a subject matter. <clears throat> so what is soul intelligence? Soul intelligence is the intelligence that your soul has gained from all lifetimes. But it doesn't stop there. Soul intelligence is literally the intelligence to recognize that everything has a soul and every soul has an intelligence that can serve you. Every soul carries message. Message and soul are actually interchangeable. Uh, one of the teachers, Master, Master Patricia, who has been following the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah for 17 years, uh, was one of the very few blessed souls uh, that went to China with Master Shah to go meet Master Shah's spiritual father, whose name was Master Guo. And in China, as you know, they're very, very restrictive about what can be taught over there. You know, they find you're, you're doing things uh, that are uh, against their political non-religious system, and they'll throw you in jail and cut out your liver and sell it to the highest bidder. 
So in China, they have no tolerance whatsoever for anything, even the word soul. Imagine that. You cannot say the word soul or you could get thrown in jail. How backwards is that, right? But that's where they are at. <clears throat> and so when Master Shah and um, some of his students went there to visit his spiritual father, uh, Master Guo was doing soul healing. He was teaching all things soul, but he changed the word. He changed the word soul to a different word. And the word is very important word to, to deeply comprehend because it means the exact same thing and it directly aligns to soul intelligence. The word that Master Guo used whenever he wanted to say the word soul was he used the word message. So he didn't say soul energy matter, soul, heart, mind, body. He said message energy matter. Message energy matter. And he explains that all souls have intelligence. All souls carry the message of all of their lifetimes. Now I'm not talking just human souls. <clears throat> Master Shah speaks in his book about um, how in China there was a malaria outbreak. Now, I, I'm guessing this is about 40, 50 years ago based on how he read it in his book. That sounds about correct. <clears throat> and there was a huge malaria outbreak. And it was well known in China a very specific herb works very, very well for malaria. And he wrote it in his book. You can, you can pick it up here. Uh, the book is called Power of Soul that I'm reading from. Let's see if I can find the name of that herb. Mao Er Chao. M A O space E R space Chao. C H A O. That's the Chinese herb. Mao Er Chao. Uh, and it was well known for healing malaria. Now, you never hear about this in the third world countries, right? They, they'd rather give them a drug or, or let them die. But in China, apparently, they have an herb that worked quite well. So the malaria outbreak was occurring. Everybody already knew Mao or Chao was the herb to go to. Imagine that. It was common sense, like going to get aspirin, right? But there was a problem. They ran out of it because everybody was going and digging it up. There wasn't enough of it. So it became a very large crisis. So here's what Master Guo told everybody that would listen, who did not have the herb. He said, every soul has intelligence. The herbs have souls. Everyone and everything has a soul because Creator created everything. He said, call upon the soul of Mao Er Chao and it has its own intelligence. It exactly knows how much essence to give you. It knows exactly what you need. You just chant. And he, he writes in here that they chanted, um, I eat Mao Er Chao, please heal me. That's what people repeated in Mandarin Chinese. And people were healing themselves left and right. Now, people could say, oh, it's just mind over matter. Certainly, that's definitely possible. They've proven that that does happen in scientific studies. Uh, so certainly it's possible. But it is also equally possible that it is directly related to the, um, the fact that people have not come to validate at the scientific level. We're getting very close, however, validation that everything has a soul and that soul has intelligence that you can call upon the soul so what is soul intelligence <clears throat> it is the innate innate wisdom and intelligence that already resides in each and every creation which is every soul that carries the message because every soul carries a message of that innate intelligence. Why do fish swim upstream? Salmon, right? Why do animals do things the way they do? Why did my dog go and roll in cow poop? Took it out in nature, nothing around. It goes and finds the only wet cow poop in the entire acre of land and rolls in it. Did, did, did the animal do it to drive me crazy? Highly unlikely. Did it because it was built in to its soul intelligence. Now, you've got to wonder what kind of soul intelligence an animal rolling cow poop, 
but it has to do with their their own natural mechanisms and every soul throughout all universes has intelligence the mistake we as humans make is we do not recognize everything as a soul and everything carries message we do not recognize how to connect to the soul and how to connect to the message if we actually stepped in to the intelligence that we are and the intelligence of our creator and recognize that the innate intelligence for anything to give us wisdom or to heal itself is already there it's it's innate it's already there our uh, sore back that may have been sore for 15 years it knows what a non sore back feels like why because it's a soul. Souls live forever. Souls have intelligence. Souls carry with them the intelligence of all lifetimes. Your soul looks like you. It's lived hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of, of years. It's lived billions of years most likely. It's part of original creation. And it carries with it the intelligence of all time, including what it's like to have a healthy back. It knows what that know, feels like. Now it also knows that you, your soul, is carrying the message of a sore back because harm or suffering uh, by you or ancestors had been caused upon others' backs and spines, possibly wartime, who knows what could have caused it, right? But when harm had been brought upon others, um, then spiritual intelligence, which is the law, the ca the law of cause and effect, it's a it's a universal law cause and effect <clears throat> um, it created a message that then attached itself to your original soul's message so your soul carries forth good messages and unpleasant messages which are basically your spiritual virtues and debts but we don't recognize the soul intelligence and the ability to um, utilize that to help us for example heal our spine or spinal column and uh, Master Shah refers to that as saying hello. We'll work on that in a little while. <clears throat> so what do we do in a, in a future scenario where there is, um, if, hopefully never occurs, but what if there is um, um, a lack of electricity and a lack of clean water and a lack of sanitation and then some of those diseases that break out as a natural result of those lacks starts breaking out, right? What do we need? <clears throat> well, we need uh, healing, right? We need um, the right herbs and we need the right antibiotics to, to make sure these things don't take hold. But what if we're in a place where we don't have that available to us? Soul intelligence. Your body has the ability to prevent illness. It knows how to prevent illness. Your organs and systems know how to do it. Your immune system knows how to build itself up. But we don't have at the human level enough soul intelligence to make a difference. We don't have at the human level enough soul intelligence to just ask. We think, oh, that's too simple. That falls along the lines of, um, of a positive affirmation. No, no, this is not positive affirmation. This is the highest level of wisdom that has been brought to humanity in 45,000 years. Uh, it's been brought before, but it's just been lost. And the intelligence is returning so that we can be smart if, uh, even now, but if we find ourselves in conditions where we used to rely on certain things and we don't have those things available to us, we must turn to the higher intelligences like soul intelligence. So let's, let's work with that example. We can say divine antibiotics. Does the divine have antibiotics? Does the divine have um, the exact and correct divine herbs to boost and build my immune system? Yes. The answer is yes. Divine intelligence exists. Divine knows exactly what we need for our body. Divine knows exactly the amount and percentage of herbs for our body. The only thing that would keep it from actually occurring is us. If we don't believe it, if we say it but don't believe it, 
Okay. Who delivers those herbs? Well, if your third eye was open, you would see herb saints. There are saints that work in the herb gardens in heaven. They deliver those herbs. Heaven's animals bring them down. They, dis they dispatch them. Okay. What's your job? Your job is to connect. Your job is the easiest. Connect and trust and, and, and know. It's not believing, it's knowing. I, I said it and I'm going to start saying it a lot more. We are the 1%. The 99% is the real. The 99% is heaven, divine, Tao, source, all the beings of light, Jesus, Buddha, all the heavenly animals. Everything, quote, on the other side is the 99 percentile. We are the 1% playing in this little manifest world that we think is so real, so incredibly stuck in. If we just opened our heart, if we just forgave everybody and everything, it's been said by the highest enlightened beings that if everyone on this planet truly forgave everyone and everything, forgave everybody, offered unconditional forgiveness, instantaneously we would all become enlightened. Instantaneously this existence would just blip away. It would just go away. It would all just whoop, be right up there hanging out in heaven. This is the 1%. So when we uh, connect to that 99% and ask heaven's herbs, to come to serve when we connect to the soul of our immune system the soul of our heart when we connect to the soul of our um, our ability to prevent diseases when we connect to these souls we can create miracles sound silly master Shali said if you want to know if a pear is sweet taste it the, his teacher, Master Guo, who is literally renowned in all of China as the man who cured the incurables. Uh, he, in all of China, the man who cured the incurables. What was he doing? He was using soul. He only called it message. And so he was teaching all of those that came to him with incurable conditions to do what, what he taught Master Shah. Then Master Shah transferred into the books, and now I'm repeating it to you. Will you apply it? I don't know. You can give yourself a soul order right now. It's one of the wisdoms I'm going to share with you in a few minutes. You could say, Dear my soul, I encourage you to consider this. Dear my soul, this is a request. Please order my brain to remember that in times of crisis conditions, this wisdom so I can call upon the soul of whatever I need to bring healing or calm or, or whatever it is I need. Because in, in a crisis, you might, be, you might forget everything. But if your soul, if you ask your soul, please bless me to remember when I'm in a crisis this wisdom, you could be very surprised. You could be in a crisis and ding, the light bulb comes on. Connect to the soul. Ask da 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 to come and help you. Ask da 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 heaven's herbs to serve this condition that you're going through. You can ask them to come to bring you peace. Dear heaven, I am in an extremely stressed out place right now. I need to be in a place where I can be strong for all of those with me and around me. Can you please bless your heavenly herbs around all of those that are with me at this time to help have peace and calm. Please also bless my child who has a fever um, to, uh, with whatever herbs that are necessary to boost their immunity and, and reverse this condition. So you make the request. What do you do next? What do you do after that? This is, these are very simple, concrete examples of soul intelligence. This is, soul intelligence is, is not all that you remember. It's knowing that everything has a soul and communicating with those souls. It's knowing you're in the 1% and the 99% is here for you, always, 100% of the time. We're just so far from the 99% in terms of our awakening and our, literally, our, our physical, emotional, mental thickness um, that we don't... We don't know how to receive the information. We have difficulty because we're trying to process it 
this could be could be received as very strange but we're trying to process it through our five senses and through the intelligences from this life we could ask our soul could you please release to me new intelligence every day i am ready to open my soul heart mind and body to all that i've ever learned in all lifetimes how would that be beautiful hmm? about um gosh it's been about have to be about 13 14 years ago now before i ran across my teacher master shah uh, i had been definitely on a spiritual path and been worked with a few different masters <clears throat> and when i uh but i was looking for answers you know the master i was training with at that time was was um very little english a beautiful chinese soul um but very little english and so i was trying to find true and authentic um not psychics but soul readers basically people that could connect to the side and get authentic wisdom so i came across one and unfortunately she eventually passed away but um she gave me a reading and she said you need to write this down and the words were just beautiful and remarkable uh they're still in my drawer over there i've kept them all this all this time and so i'm paraphrasing at this point but it was something to the effect of i ask that all that i have ever remembered known and experienced in all time that can serve me on my soul journey and help humanity please return to me at this time this was 15 years ago so i was doing meditations and asking those and eventually i was led to a very advanced spiritual teacher and father <clears throat> what was she doing she was teaching me soul communication she was teaching me to ask the 99 percent that everything really is to help me in this one percent that i'm lost in so soul uh, intelligence is applying this entire last year of wisdom and teaching you are applying soul intelligence when you say hello dear the soul of my my back i love you i please forgive me the soul of my back for complaining all this time i've been saying i have a bad back would you say that to your child i have a bad child of course you would not but we don't recognize that everything is serving us that a soul of our back has served us many many lifetimes and we don't use soul intelligence so when we teach people say hello to talk to the soul of your knee to talk to the soul of herbs in heaven to talk to the soul of your spine people don't grasp it with a high enough intelligence they don't grasp it uh, because they're trying to grab it with their five senses the people that grab it easily and effortlessly are the people that have opened their heart a lot more the people that take the time to uh, forgive others to forgive themselves to love others unconditionally regardless of how unpleasant the treatment may be the people that open their heart you hear they go oh of course and they immediately start asking forgiveness to the body parts that they have been talking down to so we i have been teaching for a long time about to how to talk to your body parts i have been teaching you how to talk to buddha jesus mother mary all the beings of light so that's talk, that's called talking to the inner souls and talking to the outer souls um but soul intelligence you can ask for answers how many of you have lost your car keys how many of you have um found yourself in a position where you needed something but you just couldn't find it no matter what do you know that your soul knows where it's at your soul knows exactly where it's at do you think it doesn't know of course it knows so what should you do you calm down and you know, everyone's running around you got to get the car keys whatever it is okay maybe you can go do something else this is also a good one i do this often maybe you can go do something else in the meantime and wait for this to appear so here's what i do dear my soul i love you um i i need to to get out of my mind right now and go do something else can you please uh when i am clear tell me where my keys are thank you and then I just go do something else I'm just completely gone and I literally while I'm in the middle of a task oh your keys are over here oh thank you 
I walk over, sure enough, exactly where the keys are. Your soul can help you. When was the last time you did any form of communication? Do you have any idea how intelligent your soul is? How many lifetimes do you remember? Most of us remember this many, this one. The average human, at least 200 lifetimes. Some of us, a thousand. Very few more than that, human lifetimes anyway. And so our soul has amazing intelligence. It's exceedingly wise. Why do you think it was so easy to pick up certain tasks? Maybe, you, you know, you don't know why, but for some reason you're just really good at the piano. You don't know why, but for some reason you're really good at art. 100%, you were an artist before. Whatever it is that was a piece of cake for you to do, you have been there before. Your soul intelligence carried over into this life. That doesn't mean you can't ask other souls to help. True story, um, one of the uh, top teachers in Master Shah's organization, his name is Master Peter, a very, very uh, powerful third eye, very strong master teacher. <clears throat> his son was uh, high school at this time of the story, and his son was having very, very difficult time with math. Just It just wasn't clicking. Now, his son happened to have an open third eye as well. So Master Peter, who understands soul intelligence, said, Dear Albert Einstein, could you please come? And Master Peter describes it. He says, Albert Einstein came. He's like, ha, 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 you know, the big hair and the big happy smile with the big mustache, right? And he's, he was laughing. He says, Albert Einstein came. He says, yes, how can I help you? Now, we can ask the same thing. And Albert Einstein's soul would come. Do you realize that? Master Peter just, you know, his third eye is open, so he sees him. So he just talks to him. He says, uh, Dear Mr. Einstein, could I ask a favor of you? Sure. Could you please come to be with my son and help him with his math? He really needs this skill set so he can pass his college degrees and move forward. Oh, I'm more than happy to. Ha, 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 This is how he described it. So weeks later, he, uh, he sees... 100% on the, on the scores. 100%. And he says, wow, that's great. Albert Einstein is teaching you well. And he says, mm-hmm. And then heaven opened up uh, a picture for Master Peter to see. And heaven showed him that his son was at the test like this. And the son would say to, to Albert Einstein, what's the answer? They'd say B. He'd circle B. What's the next one? C. He, so he would just go, donk, 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 donk. He didn't even know what he was doing. He was just listening to Albert. The soul world is the 100%. We are the 1%. We have to recognize that as a human being, that the more we connect to the soul world, the more we ask assistance, the more we believe in the assistance, the more we recognize that everyone and everything has a soul the better off we are. So that is the actual application and examples of the application of soul intelligence. So there are two kinds of soul intelligence we're going to apply right now as a practice. One is called say hello and the other is called a soul order. Say hello. What does that mean? That means saying hello to the soul world. Waking up that they're always there for us. They have the answers. We just need to ask. Now some of you are, are going, yeah, well I tried that, it doesn't work. Okay, I have to address that. You must recognize that you are a soul who is big in and free will. And that accordingly you have manifested in this and all times, the conditions you are in today. So if you are wallowing in <clears throat> low self-esteem, self-worth issues, health issues, financial issues, um, mental complaints as I'm saying, it's like, yeah, 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 I tried that, been there, done that, it doesn't work. Well, 
you're absolutely right because that's where the predominancy of your thought processes are as a soul that our beloved creator created which gave us all free will we have the right and opportunity to make better and positive choices so that when we call upon the soul world if we actually trust and believe and stay this is the key stay in that trust and belief then good does come and the old does go away we still must do our forgiveness practices release the old dirt we still must ask forgiveness and offer forgiveness to clear the future path for us but one of the keys is the soul we must start communicating at the level of soul so say hello is connecting to the inner souls connecting to the outer souls that's what the say hello is say hello also is what's called soul orders now this wisdom again this is in master shah's book called the power of soul you're welcome to get it they sell it almost everywhere not selling books you can pick it up for two or three bucks and probably find it at some of your goodwills um so as a it's a, a new york times bestseller so it's like millions and millions and millions of books out there um but it's a good one <clears throat> and soul order very loud bold statement listen carefully you only give soul orders to yourself period okay i hope that was exceedingly clear so when i teach you this you never give a soul order to anything outside of you anyone outside of you you only give soul orders to self your soul is the boss that means that the heart the mind all of your organs all of your system all of your energy centers all of your cells everything else is underneath your soul so you can give a soul order to everything underneath you but if you start and you do something stupid like try to give a soul order outside of you you're going to get whacked you know heaven's going to hit you upside the head with a lesson don't make that mistake okay <clears throat> okay i believe i've said it clearly so say hello talking to the inner souls outer souls soul orders your you ask your soul to give an order to a body part organ system to clear a blockage okay this always works better in combination with forgiveness practice all right so we're going to do this together individually you are going to choose we'll just stay with the body for now okay <clears throat> uh, choose some part of your body organ system health condition uh, something that is needs improvement okay it could be um, if you don't have anything wrong with your physical body choose to open your heart center more okay ask to open my heart more okay so just stay with that so inner souls we're gonna start by using the four powers which is the hand power placing our hands in a prayer position but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center this is called a hand mudra for those new people that are watching and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven and so <clears throat> it allows heaven's frequencies to uh, come directly into our heart okay it can be in your joints in general yes and so let us close our eyes if it is comfortable please repeat after me dear my beloved creator all of the beings of light who have come to this practice today my individual heavens teams guides angels and saints i love you i honor you i deeply appreciate you i ask you to please come to sit in my heart center and as appropriate offer blessings for my request i am very grateful thank you thank you thank you welcome phil you can choose a body part you want to offer a blessing to we're all going to do a practice right now and so <clears throat> keep your eyes closed choose your body part organ system or health condition and then plug it in at the appropriate area of this communication continue to repeat if it is comfortable dear the soul of state the area you wish to bless I love you honor you deeply respect you please forgive me 
if I have spoken negatively about you or your service to my body. Please forgive me for my complaining. Please forgive me for not connecting to you at the level of soul that you could heal yourself. You have the power to heal yourself. Do a good job. Thank you. Continue. Dear the soul of all the beings of light and my beloved divine creator, can you please bless this condition of, go ahead and state your condition. I am very grateful. Thank you. Now we do a forgiveness practice around this. Continue to repeat if it is comfortable. Dear all souls in this and all time, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you in any way, shape or form that has brought this suffering and condition to me as a reminder, I wish to most humbly and sincerely apologize. I would not wish this suffering upon any soul. And if I or my ancestors have created this kind of suffering for you, then there is no excuse. I humbly and sincerely apologize. Please forgive us. Thank you. So this is called soul communication or say hello. We said hello to the inner souls. We said hello to the outer souls. We did a forgiveness with the souls that could be impacting our recovery process. And finally, we will do a soul order. Okay. So you can say, dear my soul, could you please order the soul of, you would state the body part, organ, the system or the condition, to heal itself. And then you repeat, soul order, soul of my, state the condition or body part, heals itself. Soul order, soul of, I'm going to say my heart, heals itself. You plug in whatever is for you. Soul order, soul of my heart, heals itself. Soul order, soul of my heart, heals itself. I saw somebody plug in tinnitus earlier. You can say soul order, my body soul heals my tinnitus. Soul order, my body soul heals my tinnitus. So that's an example. You can say soul order, my body soul heals my whatever, okay? <clears throat> so soul orders are only for yourself. Do not do soul orders for anybody else. You can teach your children this, and they can do it for themselves. <clears throat> uh, but make sure that they keep it to themselves, okay? Let's continue. Soul order. My body soul heals my... Dun, dun, dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my... Dun, dun, dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my... Dun, dun, dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my dun da dun. Now we add mind power. Visualize your soul is as bright as heaven. Your soul is just as radiant sun and it's radiating the entire body soul frequency and energy to that area of request. Continue. Soul order. My body soul heals my dun da dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my dun dun dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my dun dun dun. Soul order. My body soul heals my dun dun dun. Let's ask heaven to give us some herbs. Repeat after me. Dear heaven, dear my beloved divine creator, I love you with all my heart and soul. Please forgive me for not communicating with you more often with my entire heart and soul. I am so grateful for the wisdom today that I can connect much deeper to you. Please bless me, heaven, with herbs from your herb garden for my condition. 
I am very grateful. Thank you. And now we will chant, The soul of heaven herbs heals my dan da da. The soul of heaven's herbs heals my dan da da. The soul of heaven's herbs heals my dan da da. The soul of heaven's herbs heals my dan da da. And my third eye, I see all of these herbs. They're they're literally uh, um, they look like little shamrocks, and they have this golden uh, frequency all around them, and they're just fluttering down to everybody, and they're going to your area of request, and they're putting a message in there, because they carry the message of healing. They carry the message of perfection, and they're going into your areas of request, and they're providing these new messages to reverse the ones from before, you know, my bad knee, my bad back, whatever. Those messages in there, karma messages that are being impacted. Let us continue. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my dan -da -da. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my dan -da -da. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my dan -da -da. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my dan -da -da. Continue to chant silently. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my area. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my area. If one of your hands can go to the area, put your hand there. Brings that much more light. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses this area. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my request. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my request. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my request. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my request. Soul of heaven's herbs heals and blesses my request. So heaven's herbs are still healing and blessing you. Your body soul is still healing and blessing you in this area. See them both sending great love and light to this area. You know who else is healing and blessing you? All the beings of light. You ask them to. So see their light. Jesus is sending his light to you. Buddha is sending his light to you. God is sending God's light to you. See their light coming into the area. It's not limited to the one soul. The 99% is serving you because you ask them to. Receive the wisdom. Receive the blessings. Soul of heaven's herbs, heal and bless my request. <clears throat> soul of heaven's herbs, heal and bless my request. <clears throat> soul of heaven's herbs, heal and bless my request. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us, with our heart, offer our gratitude to all of these souls. Thank you to Heaven's Herb Garden, all of the saints, all of the Buddhas, all of those working in Heaven's Garden that made these beautiful Heaven's Herbs that served me. You see, it sounds silly a little bit, to some new especially, but your gratitude is like receiving heaven's greatest love. Because when you show true gratitude for these, you know, just, you just imagine. We have our herb gardens at her. Why not herb gardens in heaven? As above, so below. <clears throat> so when you connect at the soul level and offer your gratitude, huge, huge blessings, double blessings, because you're really connecting. Dear the soul of all of the beings of light who offered their love and blessings, God, I can never bow down to you enough for your incredible love and light and blessings for this area. Dear the soul of my body soul, thank you for connecting to you and offering your blessings to my area of request. Gratitude at the end of your practice is 
of the greatest importance. One more gratitude. Dear the soul of all of those <clears throat> who have forgiven me and my ancestors for the harm that we have caused you in all lifetimes that brought about these unpleasant conditions that I am working with right now. Thank you for your forgiveness. I am extremely grateful for all those that do not want to forgive. I understand. I will serve more to make others happier and healthier. I thank you for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. So this is a process of connecting to the soul world and using soul intelligence. <clears throat> when you apply this soul wisdom to your life, you can release so many blockages. You can release virtually everything that is inhibiting you from having a happy, healthy life. But it starts by recognizing the wisdom and intelligence of the soul world that they're here for us and connecting to them, trusting them, doing your part. Okay? So I wish to bow my head to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, and I, he bows his head, he puts his head on the ground and bows down to our divine creator because that's who gave him this wisdom that I now share with you. So I offer my deepest gratitude to all of you for coming today, for sharing, for letting other people know about this. The more lives we touch, the more awakening that occurs for humanity, then the better off as a race we are. Thank you for coming. If you are in need of individual healings or blessings, I offer this. <clears throat> you can learn more at my website. It's listed above this recording. Also, um, I do this on podcasts, so if you can't watch all the time live, again, you go to my website, learn how to sign up for the podcast. And uh, you can Facebook message me. I respond to pretty much everybody. Uh, the only few people I don't respond to are, are just uh, people that um, uh, they're, they're uh, advertising, I guess is a good way to put it. And so, um, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light, divine, Tao, and source. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all that came to serve today. Love you, love you, love you. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye, everybody.